I once told someone to think about God as a sweet, wonderful friend. And they were quite alarmed. They said, well, I could never think of God as my friend. God is my Lord. God is my Savior. God is my uh, uh, very God. And that was almost the exact thing that they said. For myself, some of the most blessed times of prayer have been times where I've taken a walk and I didn't worry about a system of prayer. I just talked with my friend. I sometimes talked out loud. I sometimes talked in my mind. But I talked to my friend knowing that my friend was with me, that my friend had my back, that my friend was on my side. Listen to what it says in Isaiah 41, verse 10. God says, I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my, listen to this, victorious right hand. That is an idiom in the Bible. It means the right side of God, that God always places you in the, in the finest category. You have no greater friend than God. And realize this, that God is with you, that God has your back, that God is your comfort at all times. And I invite you today to take a walk, even if you're sitting at the desk, do it in your imagination and talk to your friend. Talk to your friend in a way with regular words. So often we make our prayers something of the high cathedral category. Just talk to God. Just listen to God and be with your friend. You have no greater friend than God. God is a friend that always listens. God is always there to help you, to comfort you. When you're troubled, God is with you, listening to every word. Now, if you're grieving over the loss of something or someone... God tenderly holds your hand. And if the pain, if the pain is something that seems more than you can bear, God carries the burden for you. You have a loving God beyond anything that you can imagine. A loving friend beyond anything that you've ever had before in your awareness. Now realize that as God helps you, some pain that is so great within you will not be completely diminished at first because it takes a while for the human being, the human mind to let go and completely let go. But in time, you learn to totally and wholeheartedly rely on God's active presence in your life. And you draw upon the comfort, you draw upon the strength of God, your friend, your special friend, your great friend, at any time and in everything that you do. So today, I ask you to take a walk with God. Talk to your friend as you would another friend. Confide and share your heart.